In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the download file task, which is part of Task Factory from Pragmatic Works. The first thing that you want to do after you drag the component onto your screen is go ahead and open it up. And you have the first option of selecting your HTTP connection manager. And so in this case, I already have one set up. But if you don't have one, you can click on Create New HTTP Connection. And it will bring up the built-in SSIS connection manager that you can fill out here. So if you're sitting behind a proxy, if you need to use credentials to get outside of your network, you can fill out all that information here. And it will allow you to get outside of your network to download the file. So I'm going to go ahead and select my connection manager. Uh, next, you want to fill out where is this file going to come from. So you can either use a text file, text value. Um, you can use an expression, which allows you to choose a, an expression builder and fill out whatever expression that you want to use. Uh, and then the next, you have the variable. And so if you have some sort of variable with the URL that you're going to download the file from, you can select that here, and it will go and grab the value of the variable and go download the file. So the, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use a text value and I'm just going to grab my setup what I have already and I'm just going to put that in there. So I'm going to go out to pragmaticworks.com and download this PDF. Next we want to uh, choose where we want the file to be stored locally and again you have a text value, um, you have an expression or a variable but also you have a connection manager. So a connection manager obviously is useful if you're going to use this um, this file later in your in your package you can just point right to this connection manager and set it up and you're down the road with the uh, with the file so what again I'm gonna just use a text value and I'm gonna put in oh I selected the line above it all right and so the last uh, couple of options here is if this file already exists and you try to download it and you don't have this selected it's going to fail. So you're going to want to check overwrite local file if that's what you want it to do. And in this case, I do want it to, to overwrite the local file. And the last thing is that if for whatever reason, while it's going out and trying to grab this file from, from the internet, or so what you want to do here is if you want to stop the package on failure, you can select this option here, meaning that if for whatever reason you get a 404 error, a 500 error, whatever reason, um, you, it will fail the task and it will stop processing. But if you don't care if the file gets downloaded or not, you can just uncheck this and it will ignore the error and move on down the package. So that's it, so that we're all set up here, and I'm going to go ahead and execute it. All right, taking its sweet time here. All right, so there we go. So if you go to your progress window, you can see that it downloaded this file to your CSSIS migrating DTS to SSIS v4.pdf. And that's basically it. It's a very simple little task to do a single thing for you.